Hi, Sinead. Very welcome. Good to see you again. And Shane, you're very welcome to the show. Hi. Thanks for coming and doing the number for us. But uh, a strange combination, an unlikely combination, I said at the beginning. Uh, how did the two of you... Different sexes, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a start, anyway. How did Are the two of you come to do this, this song? Um, well, it's your, um, your song. Yeah, well, uh, it was Liam Taylor's idea. <laughs> Yeah, but you you knew the song already. No, I didn't. We did didn't? it a few years ago. We recorded no, actually about two or three years yeah. ago, I think. So just Shane rang up and asked me. So. It's been uh, mixed and things, and uh, had the had the over overdubs and stuff put on it and all the rest of but it. But the basic yeah. recording that that you can buy in the shops now that's shooting into the UK charts at the moment is already in the Irish charts. The basic thing was recorded a couple of years back. Yeah. The actual basic backing track, yeah, and Sinead's vocal, yeah. Okay, are you um, surprised by its instant success? I mean, you were on top of the pops? Well, that doesn't necessarily mean you're successful. You can be on the top of the pops and not be successful, plus you can be successful and not necessarily be good and deserve to be on top of the pops. Yeah. I mean, you can get to number one and not be a good record at all. Like, so yeah, it's but not as it happens, this is a good record. You know? It is successful, yes, and you were on top of the pops. We were on top of the pops. Yeah. Yes, but no, I'm not surprised it's, if it is successful, it's because it is a great record, which it is. Shane's a great songwriter, in my opinion. Yeah. So. And, and the notion of the two of you, um, yeah, Shane is a terrific songwriter. I mean, long after we're all gone, they'll be still performing and, and recording Shane's songs. Oh, Shane's song. not bad, you know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I was in your league. She is one of those who would say self-praise is no praise anyway, so... Uh, we're, we're here to, to praise her own songwriting records and, and performances. But to add the, the song itself from Sid and Nancy uh, about Sid Vicious and his girlfriend Nancy, I mean, was that something that you wanted to write about, uh, Shane? No, no, or was it just a commission? It was the commission, yeah. But I mean, uh, but I, well, I knew Sid and Nancy, yeah. I didn't like the film. You didn't like the film. Did you like? Did you like Sid? I didn't like the film. No, I didn't like what they did with it. But I didn't know what they were, the film was going to be like when I wrote the song. I just wrote the most, uh, most uh, emotional sort of. Uh, it's a sad song, you know. Yeah. yeah. But it's happy in a way because they sort of reunited somewhere else. You know? yeah. yeah. Did Did you empathise with Sid Vicious? Did you sympathise with? You know, the way he lived and the way he ended up? Well, I, I, at the time I was living pretty much the same way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah do, do you worry at all about your own mortality? Um, no, well, everybody does, don't they? I do. But, I mean, um, you do. Yeah, only last night I was worrying about my mortality. What, what sort of thoughts come into your head about your own mortality? I mean, it's you're a scary, young woman. Dying, it's the whole idea of dying is scary. And is, is that all there is? Yeah, and just the whole thing of, you know, what are we all doing here? How does the earth hang in space? And what's going to happen to me when I die? And is it going to be slow and painful? That kind of thing. It's the dying rather the than the death. The actual dying, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But I think also if you get through birth, which must be the most difficult passage, I think death is probably a breeze. You know, yeah. Yeah. When you watch people so. who've had a long illness, they tend to slip away rather than, you know, they, don't, they stop fighting at a certain point. I think living is harder, probably. <laughs> yeah, living is harder. Some people, like Shane, make living a lot harder than it, necess than it need be. Well, I don't know, you see, yeah, but again, you know, everyone's different, do you know what I mean? And, and everyone makes their own rules and lives their life according to their own things, so do you know what I mean? What's difficult for you might not be difficult for Shane, do you know sure, what I mean? Sure, yeah. vice versa. We can't so. get in under each other's skin yeah, and really you know to know what it's like to be. Yeah. Or I can all that, yeah. yeah. You could well do. <laughs> I hope you haven't any plans for my immediate demise. That's the only thing. <laughs> um, I, I noticed in rehearsing, Shane, that you're—I mean—you really love doing what you do. Uh, yeah. do, you, do you enjoy the bits in between, like the travelling? You're, you're doing a big tour of America fairly soon. Well, is it, it's not. Well, I've done lots of big tours of America. Yeah, yeah. We're, I'm not, a big tour of America goes on for months. You know. Yeah. I'm not going to do one of those, no. But do you look forward to that, or do you only get your charge when the gig is on and the bits in between are well, tedious? No, uh, the Jack and the gigs, sound checking, all the, tra the traveling, depend if you travel right the right way, if you can get it together, like a bus or 
and Bob, if you can get that together. But with American stuff, you have to use planes or hype planes. You know? Fear of flying? No, no, they just treat me like a piece of... <laughs> <laughs> they really do, do they? When you check in, they kind of spit to one side and then... No, they spit straight at me. <laughs> <laughs> What about uh, songwriting? I don't know when you write songs. You know, you know, what does it have to be a particular set of circumstances, a particular quiet time, or could you do it in the back of the bus as you're going to a gig? Or mostly, I do mine in airplanes. Actually, up in the air, there's nothing else to think about particularly. So, right. but it's different. There's no rules. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't say there's any rules anyway. Yeah. It's always. It's just for shame. People with reckon with the life you lead, or that you're characterised as leading. That where do you get the time to write a song? Well, I don't need the life I'm characterised as leading, you know, I just, I like a few drinks, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and, like, I've had a lot of good ideas for songs in pubs, you know, yeah. you know what I mean? But, but it does, there's no, no set rule for when you're suddenly going to get a blast of inspiration or whatever it is, you know. Yeah. And, uh, do, do you find it's that... something that happens usually, or uh, a story somebody tells you, or... You just remember something that happened to you or whatever. You know, my songs aren't intensely personal, like Morrissey's, yeah. for instance. You know, they're um, not about all about me. Okay, you know. I, uh, you're you're performing quite well, clearly. Yeah, no, I mean yours are universal. You know. Yeah, yours are intensely personal a lot of the time. Um, does it worry you that you wear your heart on your sleeve because the emotion that, that gave birth to the song is not necessarily the emotion that still persists in your soul and heart by the time the song comes out and everybody then imprints the song on you and says, Sinead's feeling this way? No, because you can write very personally and at the same time be quite vague. I mean, it, you know, I heard a quote once which I really liked, which said, what if one woman told her story, the whole world would break open. So you have to be very careful about the information you do give because people don't necessarily know how to respect that information. Um, but uh, as I was say, one thing I do notice about writing songs is that you can often write a song and it can feel very personal in a certain time, but you won't discover until a year after you wrote it what it's really about. You'll find them coming true in your life after you've written them. Your subconscious often writes songs, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know what it is I'm saying to myself sometimes, but then years later I'll realise what the song was about. Yeah, I was talking to a woman on, on the radio so during the week true. who yeah, was interpreting yeah, dreams yeah, and she yeah, says your dreams yeah. are telling you things. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't necessarily know what yeah. they're telling you until maybe. Yeah. Well, it's the a same with songs, on. yeah, because that's my way of speaking to myself. Again, I suppose that's why I write so personally, is because I'm talking to myself, really. Do you know what I mean? Trying to find myself somehow. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. And what kind of a charge do you get out of uh, performing, Shane? I mean, at the end of a, a, a gig, how do you feel? I feel great. I feel great at the end of a gig, and then I feel a sort of massive drop because it's the end of the gig. Mm. And you're like, clearly it's performing like, regularly. Sir, yeah. It's a really it's the most exciting thing you can do you can to play do. a good gig, I yeah. think. Really. But you've got an active band and so on. I'm just, uh, I'm hoping that you know soon we're going to see you again with the band and have yeah, a bit of fun. Yeah, starting touring actually in Dublin. I've got two dates, the first and second of June, and from then on, I'm going to be on tour till August. Because so. we get to see you from time to time with the the, the Irma Awards and tonight, you know, yeah. occasionally we don't get to see you. Yeah, well, I'm a mother also, so you know, I've got to put a bit Busy of time, time in there too. You know, so. All right. Well, look, thank you both for taking the time to be with okay. us tonight. Thank Lovely you. to see you again, yes. Sinead. And Shane, thank you very much indeed. Thanks very much indeed. Off you go. You can enjoy the rest of your night. Sinead O'Connor and Shane McGann.